right cabbage last night. I had Anybody there? Open up. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Ruben that we'll have time to see you. Want a bed? <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Ruben cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You make this robe here. Your equipment will be safe. Splendid. Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. Hi, Whitehead. Nice fun you have. <laughs> you were right. He doesn't blush. And Junior cut off his hand, then ordered them to shove it up the corpse's ass. And then he sent the body back, offering a hand extended in peace. Son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? I'm a witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. Oh! 
Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse on scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked? Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarfs Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Junior's gonna help me find someone. Horson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Horse son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find horse, son? Find me first! I need to find Horson. Now it looks like I gotta get to him before Cleaver does. Cleaver won't find him easy. Junior's good at hiding. He's got peasant smarts. Look at the time. Good luck in your search, Witcher. I'll call on you tomorrow, Francis. We'll finish our chat. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. I had my reasons. Your leg would be fine if you hadn't gotten in my way. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite differently on that. For example, I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying you up. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. Think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? 
<laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we'd built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways, agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect. But we just don't talk about it. No need to. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue though. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf. But you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with a casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> see, you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remain that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything. Not anyone. And especially not the sorceress of the lodge. Philippa Eilhart. Had any news? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared without a trace. If I've any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. From master spy to master criminal. Interesting progression. Why? Truth be told, they're awfully similar. Both about maintaining a net of informers, being tough in negotiations, bribing officials, the occasional assassination. Same old shit. Yeah, except you used to do that in the name of some ideal. And now? Now I've decided I've slaved enough for ideals. The time I worked for myself, and thus far, it's been going rather well. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Of course I do. You serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. The bastard shan't get away with it. I was being serious. 
As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. Got me own problems. Problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. So kind as to follow me. Not again! Bart. Bart, stop that! Now! Bart! Bart! Bart makes Ziggy lose, Jonathan! Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bart hurt! Bart less thinky! Bart less thinky! But Sadler. Where'd you get the troll? From Zericania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there. Ziggy bad take. Good Ziggy. don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it, until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfoot go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff, and you will help me get it back. Why don't you handle this? Gotta have connections in the underworld. What do you need a witcher for? <sighs> the gold wasn't mine alone. See, I run a members-only savings club, a bank for the initiated. For reasons that should be obvious, I prefer it if my temporary liquidity problems remained private. So I need an outsider. How do you know you can trust me? I don't. Counting on your survival instinct. Slip up, and I'll kill you. Feed you to Bart. Bart, sorry. Bart job that good. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. 
The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Jorfun. Oh, God. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Oh no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look no. Only sleep. Bad shoes head for Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. Bad. Bad troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, you hold. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Your phone gone. Bad troll. Now, now, stiff up a lip. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Big... Uh, this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox, Fonce. Thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonce, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped Fonce and ran like hell. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it...? No! Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life. Here. Thanks. You've naught to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Dandelion, what the hell have you gotten yourself into? Hey, Bart, got a minute? Benny. But no, Bennett, Scott. But Rock, Scott. 
Rocks want? I mean a minute to talk. You mean? But nice. One more time. Can we talk? Siggy, you like. Talk me with. Anything suspicious happened before the robbery? Suspicious. But no understand. Something not normal. Something strange. Maybe you saw, felt, heard something? Yeah. Yeah. But here. Uh, like uh, a piece. His. What kind of hissing was it? Like a snake? No. A piss odor. Not animal all that. Right. So, like what? Like. Uh, rock? A hissing rock. Mm hmm. The hissing. Where did it come from? But. His here. In that tree. What? Where? Where but turdy dump. All right. Let's change the subject. Good. But time got. Chorfun go. But God now nothing. Why do you like Siggy so much? Siggy good. Siggy can't take part. He locked you up, alone, underground. Don't get bored down here? Not much to do. When but not much do. But think. Lots. What about, if you don't mind my asking? Rocks. Rocks. Rocks interesting. Uh, thanks for your help. So long. Mm. Long. Long. 